I'm not asking for your money. I'm not asking for you guys to spend hours. It takes you literally 10 seconds. Like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Please, it means so much to me. Thank you so much. Yes, guys, welcome back to another interview. Um, last week, I interviewed Modine. This week, I, I'm interviewing some, someone very different to Modine. It's the one and only Ali Datwa. Uh, look, so I'm going to go straight into it. Yes. Um, I want to know Ali before the Datwa. Because okay. what I know is I know Ali Datwa, this is, but I want to know who was Ali before, mm. you know, Datwa. To be honest, like before the Datwa, I, I was somebody, you know, going to clubs, holiday, girls, cars, gym, you know, so all this yeah. kind of stuff. So I'm yeah. in, okay? Yeah, okay. so, so yeah, before all this, um, yeah, that's what I used to do, you know. I used to go clubbing? Every week. Stuff every week. No. Oh, what is that? What are you talking about? I, I, Stuff <laughs> no. Every week, clubbing? Every week. Well, Central London, different clubs. Yeah. Like, I was very, like, into my music. Alcoholic in that. I never did alcohol, I never did drugs. But music, I was heavily influenced by music. I swear. What sort of music did you do? Did you like dancing to? All kind of Bashman, R&B, you, you name it, bro. Oh, yeah. no, that's you crazy. Want to my music? Back in the God. <laughs> <laughs> so then, what, so you was like clubbing? Yeah, yeah, that, that was my lifestyle, bro. Like, that's, that's, that's all I knew, you know, because that's what, what I was taught in the context where, you know, just make money, you know, have fun. More money you have, the more things you own. Okay. Um, you know, uh, it was mainly for the opposite gender, to be honest. You know, that's. But let's be honest here. You know, oh, I was got jealous in that. Yeah, straight, bro. You know, that, that, that's, yeah. that's 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 all, all I knew. Do you get it? So that's what when I talk about that. Was, you have game. Yeah, you, you're not ready for it. Oh, so you had game. You're not ready for it, bro. Man, like Ali, that you know. Is, is a lot of my friends would drink alcohol to be confident, but man had it naturally, organic, <laughs> organic thing. Bro, are you hearing what you guys hear? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So how did you go from that lifestyle? Yeah. To like now, mashallah, like so much knowledge and mm. like how did you how did you yeah. come towards islam because it's very hard yeah. for yeah. a lot of brothers these days that yeah. live that lifestyle where yeah. you live and then to come to what you are doing now mm. so what happened to be honest i wouldn't say i'm knowledgeable i think i'm one of the least knowledgeable in the dawah scene and i don't say that to be humble but that's a reality okay because uh, there's a lot of more knowledgeable brothers b besides me yeah. uh, but the thing is it's to me when i live that lifestyle yeah. um that's one of the re reasons when, when a lot of reverts come to islam they really hold on to it because they've seen how that kind of lifestyle you said you went in there for 30 seconds and he was that yeah well, but imagine yeah. living in it and seeing it and how and it's a disgusting lifestyle I'm, let me be honest but because you don't know anything better when you come from that to this you appreciate this more because he was like uh, how, how lost i was and you know i thought that was happiness but but, 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 but like what made you get to this like what yeah well like, the, there must have been something where you're like you know what course, yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, lifestyle yeah. was getting me nowhere yes like like so like what was yeah. it like what happened like what mm. what was the trigger so to be honest i always believed in a higher power um, I didn't believe in religions. Oh, but she wasn't religious? No, no, I wasn't a Muslim. No way. No, I came to Islam 10 years ago. Oh, he's going to cry. Guys, give him a moment of time. One second. Are you okay? Bro, I'll give I him some feel, time. I feel, yeah. like, I feel like you're like, you're like Muslimin. No, no, no. But like, but like, you wasn't strict. No, no, my dad's atheist, agnostic. My, my family hates Islam. So what? So like, you was a kafar in that? <laughs> Nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. Literally, yeah. Nah, no, but seriously, so like, true. you wasn't even Muslim? No, no, no. My, my, my family hates Islam. My, my, dad, my dad said the thing I hate the most has been born into my family. Like, they hate Islam with the passion. But why? 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 Well, I'm, well, I'm shocked. Well, I'm shocked. It's a long story. Yeah, yeah. My, my dad, like, like, I don't blame my dad. I'm trying to make, vilify my no, dad. No, no, no. no. Reality. Yeah, my dad kicked me out of the house. Like, uh, for one month, I stayed at some of my friends' house. You know Adnan Rashid? No, I don't Musa Adnan? Okay, they're in the Dawah. I used to stay in their house. So, yeah, oh, he, 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 he didn't like it. Like, he really, until this day. But why? Did it, it must be no, because, because there's, back in Turkey, there was a persecution towards the, this community. They're called the Alawis. Uh, They're a sect of Shia. So the, the Sunnis, you know, they did a lot of atrocities. So they hate Islam because of that. So they do opposite of everything the Sunnis do. You wear hijab, we don't wear hijab. You fast, we don't fast. Uh, anything, you go mashid, we don't go to mashid. Anything we do, we do the opposite. Yeah. But I wasn't uh, Alawi per se. Like, yeah, but then, but, then, but then that makes your story even better then. Because, because I was thinking... I guess so. I was, no, well, I, yeah. I was thinking like you was a Muslim, but no. wasn't really strict. No, no, no. So you wasn't even Muslim? No. No, I believe in God, but all religions, I would say, these are all man-made stuff. So how did you So how did you become a Muslim then? How did you... Because I... And plus with the pressure of your parents, how did you go... Well, the thing is, I used to fast. I can remember fasting, just trying out fasting, etc. I used to read the Bible. I used to be in a relationship. I used to be in a five-year relationship with, uh, with a girl. And um, her mom was half... She was half white, half uh, English. So I can remember in the house, they had a Bible. So I used to open the Bible. I used to read the Bible. 
I had a moment where I had enough of this clubbing and all this kind of stuff and I started getting religious. So I spent about three and a half years looking into different religions. Um, three and a half years? Three and a half years. Yeah, because I have to be certain, bro. I'm not going to follow something if I know it's it's not the truth. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. wow. Yeah. Sorry. So, 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 so there's many, many reasons, but like my, my, I had people like, the people that I looked up, I was told what money, success, all this kind of stuff. So when I would see people who have the money, who have the cars, who have the girls, not happy, like, like depressed, they were depressed. I used to go out with them. And then I had like uh, people that I, uh, um, like my cousin commit suicide, uh, my cousin's friend commit suicide, my neighbor commit suicide. So like, uh, and then I started looking for the meaning of life. You know, I said like, is this all it? You know, and yeah, it was just many, many things, but eventually, eventually. How did you, but like, with, yeah. with your parents being so strict, especially yeah. like, you know. Like, my mom is okay. My dad was uh, like, in my family, like other family members. My mom was, my mom was always supported me. Yeah, but so like, but how did you, how did you, like, 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 I want to know, like, what brought you to Islam? Like, so like, yes, what, what brought, yeah. So your old lifestyle. Yes. Your old, parents, like yes. literally everything's pushing you away from yes, Islam. Yes, exactly. Not only that, imagine if 9-11 happened, all this, even if there's any religion I would have not chosen, it would have been Islam. But to me, it's when I opened the Quran and when Allah says in the Quran that if this was from other than your Lord, you would have found contradictions and errors. I, thought, I saw that as a bold claim. So I started looking for contradictions and errors. Uh, and when I couldn't find it, that to me, it stood out. And the Quran being preserved, the only scripture that's been preserved, the prophecies, the miracles. And to me, it was like, I lied to myself if I can turn my back on this. I, I couldn't. From that moment, I said, amazing. you know, so yeah, it, it was. It, that's amazing. Yeah. You know, not sure yet. You know, not sure yet. But I have my revert story in my YouTube, in detail. If you want. No, no, no. No, because yeah. I saw the story where you said my dad was um, angry with you when he yeah. caught you praying. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know that like you guys weren't Muslim and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, my dad called me after like years. Like I was hiding it for a long time, you know. And, and um, then what, he 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 kicked you out. That that was before when I first came to Islam. He kicked me out. But when he first caught me praying, I can remember every time he would come, like I would, I would break my salah. So he doesn't see it. But I can remember a point where I thought, how, how long, how much longer am I going to do this? Yeah. So I prayed and my mom was telling, because my mom always, she, she watches out, you get it? And she said to me, your dad's coming, your dad's coming. And I didn't move. And she was like, what are you doing? Your dad's coming, your dad's coming. And I just started carrying on praying. And my dad came and he's like, what, what's this boy doing? I was literally praying. Well, like, I cannot explain to you that feeling of, it's like someone put hot water over my head. And I was in this mixed emotion of, shall I stop, shall I? It was, it was so I felt embarrassed. I, I don't know, I felt, like I like I done something really bad, but the thing is, I just I just carried on, and I can remember like he was just there. Like, can you imagine like after he's staring at me? You don't want to finish your song. Bro, bro, bro. <laughs> the most awkward. And I you thought, know. you know what? After that, he would be like he'd be a bit soft. But after he goes, don't ever pray in my house. I was like, like but but again, just to clarify, my dad is not evil. My dad seen things, etc. Experiences. It's that I don't see my dad as evil. My dad is genuinely cares about his children. It's just from a perspective he's experienced with trauma. So yeah, so but is he still like that now or is he a bit more a bit lenient? Better, a bit better, a bit better. Inshallah, yeah. slowly, slowly. Yeah. Listen, um, do you do this that one thing now full time? Yeah, for the past one one year I do it full time now. So now you do it full time? Yeah, now I do like stuff like Iman channel, like I do presenting there. So like you know, I, I earn a bit there, here and there, etc. So yes, first time like, I'm in the Dawah like, full time. Okay. How does someone who does Dawah full time, how do you get paid? Well, to be honest, a lot of people expect us to do it for free. <laughs> Sadly, yeah? Which is... Unrealistic. Uh, it is unrealistic, bro, because at the end of the day, we are studying, actually, it takes time. To yeah. defend the religion of you know, Allah, it's, bro, it's very hard. You're dealing with hostile people. You know, you need to do like study, and we we have times where, like, we spend hours and end of okay, how can we reply to that? What's the easiest way? Okay, let's try this. Let's try that. So we do like brainstorming for hours. So like, for example, a lot of people they're involved. Obviously, uh, the funds that are raised, you know, it goes. Some of them go towards a uh, person's wages, you know. But obviously, it's reasonable. I mean, like the most so of like, the, so like you guys get paid like nah, crazy amount. Nah, bro, come on, bro. I know most of the guys, bro. Like they they get paid just that basic it. salary. Yes, bro. Literally, literally basic. I know some people who get five pound an hour. Yeah. Um, so like me personally, with our organization, um, with Salam that we bought, like me, I don't get a single penny. I I try my best. Yeah, I try my best to abstain from getting a single penny from that one. That's but it doesn't mean it's wrong or it's haram. That's me personally. That's my personal reasons. But there are people who have to because you can't. How are you going to do the DAO work 
and you know you, you have a family you can't brought akil because you have to provide etc because yeah. otherwise it's either going to leave one of them do you get it yeah and this is very very important so i think it's very reasonable like even like our imams they get paid the lowest you know um so it's 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 understandable but at the end of the do day you feel like your finances or your life would be much not not better but like yeah. your lifestyle or your finances would be better if you was working instead of doing that one you see the thing is akil when it comes to this stuff in the religion we take our aql our logic over the knuckle, which is what Allah tells us. When Allah puts barak in your life, Aki, you could get paid bare minimum, bare minimum, but your but your life is subhanAllah, if you look at it, okay, you have to wait, yeah. So bare minimum, but the thing is when Allah puts barak in your life, bro, wallahi, let me tell you something, yeah. Some people think like, okay, yeah, if I go, I can earn this, etc. I genuinely believe, and every day should believe this as well, is that you might get little, but there's so much barak in that, bro. Mm. Some people, you speak to them and go, bro, my expenses, what comes and goes out doesn't make sense. What comes and goes out does not make sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like, I don't know, it's just Allah provides. When you do things for His sake, and I'm not saying I'm one of those, I try my best to, mm. but Allah provides. I'm not money motivated, you know? So, yes, we do have to get paid, but it's about if I didn't get paid, would I still be doing this? I'll still be doing this. It'll be harder. I would have to, you know, work on the side, whatever, but I would carry on doing this. The fact of me doing this is not based on money. Ali, yes. talking about risk and income and stuff, I made a video. Yeah. I went on a podcast yeah. and I made a video talking about this experience I had where I went live on TikTok yeah. and this 19 year old boy from Birmingham yeah. joined my live. And I asked him, brother, are you married? He said, no, um, I'm not going to get married until I'm financially ready. Okay. So I asked him, what is financially ready? He said, until I have my own car and my own house. And I said, okay, <laughs> buying or renting? He said, buying, mortgage. So then I told him, brother, look, wallah is not worth it. Yeah. yeah? Interest is not worth it. Yeah. Whether you rent privately yep. or rent the mortgage, yep. you're basically renting either way because I said everything in this life is rented. Yes. This watch, these glasses, yeah. your car, yeah. our clothes, everything in life is rented. Mm. When I posted it on my social media, mm. Ali, yeah. the amount of Muslim brothers, yeah, that said, brother, this makes no sense. You need to think about generational wealth. You need to buy a house, mortgage for your children, for your children's children. And brother, wallahi, I had no energy to argue back. Send them, send them to me. No, but this is why I'm doing yeah, this video. Yeah, yeah. Can you explain like, that makes no sense. If you love your children, yeah. if you genuinely love your children, yeah. why would you give them a house that's full of haram? Thank you. That's like me saying, I want to go start a business, a nightclub. Yes. Yeah? Yes. Because it's going to make me a lot of profit through the alcohol. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, 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 bro, no, bro, bro. I'm going to open a nightclub. Yeah. Get that alcohol money and, and give it to my kids because I, because I love my kids. And you know what? That alcohol might not be as bad as the uh, riba. Bro, riba. That, 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 might, that, that, that you doing a nightclub, might not be as bad as riba because riba is literally waging war on Allah and His Messenger. Well, well, Ali, listen, I was saying that in the podcast. I said, guys, listen, riba isn't just like a normal sin. Yeah, bro, are you mad? Allah says the one who gives and takes riba, which is interest, yeah. interest, yeah, yeah, is waging a war with Allah. Yeah. Now yeah. you tell me, is that house yeah. worth it? Okay. Then you love your kids that much, you're going to go yeah. to war with Allah and the Prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How can you say to me, yeah, yeah. that mortgage in a house, and going to war with Allah and the Messenger of Allah yeah. is worth it just so your kids can have a house. Exactly, yeah. But that makes no sense to me. Well, exactly, but you see, like, you, you see when you said that, what did they say? They said, that makes no sense to me. It's a very important key word they said here. They said, that doesn't make sense to me. Because where they're looking at it from is what? Materialism and logic. They're thinking, logically, that doesn't make sense. And you know what? I'll agree with them. Logically and into a, into a materialistic sense, that doesn't make sense. Is they right? Because they're looking at it from the lens of the dunya. You're looking at it from the lens of the akhirah. Yeah. So that's why you're thinking that doesn't make sense to me. I'm thinking right, what you're saying is doesn't make sense because there's a barrier between you two, and that barrier between you two is what Akim. He's looking at dunya. You're looking at akhirah. What you're saying makes perfect sense to Allah and His Messenger. <clears throat> For someone who's not following that or is unaware or ignorant about that. He's thinking, oh, how could you tell me that? You know, if I do this, let me tell you something, bro, yeah? You can have a mortgage, you can get stuff on riba, etc. Let me tell you something, yeah? All you've done is received what was written for you in a haram way, yeah? 
what is written for is going to reach you. You choose to earn it halal or haram. You can go and steal or you can get in a halal way. All you're doing is taking away from yourself. So what people don't understand is actually waging war on Allah and His Messenger. There's a hadith of the Prophet, peace upon him. It says on the day of judgment, angels will come and give you weapons and say, go fight Allah. It's, it's worse than that. So the thing is here, this is why people are going on a mad one. Bro, I rent. I live, I have a one bedroom flat. Me, my two daughters and my wife are in the same like bedroom. Yeah, we, met, we managed to, you know, <laughs> divide it, yeah? All of us in the same bed, alhamdulillah. Wallahi, I'm so happy. I am so happy, bro. When I go home with my family, when Allah puts barakah. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. You could have a house on mortgage, which is riba. You're losing your akhirah. And let me tell you something. You will never have barakah. You will never, ever have barakah. It's as simple as that. It's a, it's a reality. And let me tell you something. My dad has a house on mortgage. Oh, really? But yes, he has a house on market. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's his house he bought. My dad doesn't believe this. My dad has a go at me, like, oh, you, you know, you, you don't get involved in this stuff, you know, invest, da, da, da. I told my dad, and he, he, he calls me <laughs> all kinds of stuff because of this, yeah? And there was a moment where he was losing the house. Things went pear shaped. Yeah? He was this close, bro. He, I, got, I was looking at how he was depressed. Because to him, he's put everything in this house. Bro, this, the, 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 the stress he went through, yeah? He was on the verge of losing the house, bro. The point I'm trying to say, bro, is that when Allah provides, He will provide. Don't think to yourself that, oh yeah, because you know what the, uh, the key factor is here? Oh, but I own it. You own it. You are going to go and get a mortgage on riba, wage war against Allah and His Messenger. And then when you die, you don't own nothing, brother. You don't own nothing. When you die, that house, somebody's going to live it. If you're married, your wife, your girlfriend, whoever, whatever kind of there's going to be another man in your bed with your wife and your girlfriend. And this is a reality. As Muslim, bro, when we die, this is a reality. Why does Allah make us? And some people don't want to think about it. Nah, nah, don't, I don't want to talk about this kind of stuff. Brother, this is a reality. The clothes that you wear, the car that you drive, everything that you own, somebody else is going to wear it. It's all so, rented. It's, it's all rented, yeah, in that context. Now, nobody is saying, nobody is saying, don't do it. Brother, let me tell you something. If I had the money, I'll be driving a Bentley. I, Ali Dao, will go to speak school in a Bentley. It's not haram. The point is this, investing in your uh, uh, kid's future is not haram. Oh. We're seeing what you're choosing to do. Right, yeah. Ali Dawa. Yeah. Um, talk to me about Speaker's Corner. Let me, let me talk to you about your shorts first. Yeah, let's not go to Speaker's Corner. Let's go to your shorts first. Speaker's oh, Corner is far, but your shorts, your shorts are close. Speaker's Corner is far. You know, you know your shorts, you're not, you're not covering your aura, brother. So. I mean, they know me. My, my other name is Halal, uh, Haram Police. Oh, so Did you know that? Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some people call me Haram Police. Oh, so like you're fed in that? Something like that, yeah. So yeah, I'm going to give you a yellow haram, card this time. Haram Police. Yeah, so you need to make sure your shorts, you know, cover your knee. Okay, I'm sorry. Unless you're Maliki. Are you Maliki? If you're Maliki, then the arrow is not the... No? Okay, at least so. you're honest. Thank you. So next time Mohammed Ijaa will come, you might give a red card. Oh, so you're going to give me a yellow card? Mine's yellow. I appreciate it's like, it's like it. It's like a wound. Yeah. Okay, second yeah. chance. Okay. Thank you so much. Everyone needs a second chance in life. I oh, appreciate that. It's okay. What was he saying about the speaker's corner? Wow, man. Ali Dawa was giving me that one on my own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, talking about that one, um, yeah. talk to me about speaker's corner. Because, okay. like, why did you go? When did you go? Mm. And how long have you been doing it for? And, like, what do you gain from it? Mm. To be honest, I don't really gain anything from it. <laughs> it, takes <a> lot. <laughs> it takes a lot from me. <laughs> so you need to detox. Sometimes I'll go home and my wife will be like, listen, this ain't speaker's corner. Don't use those arguments. <laughs> so I need to reset my factory settings. So yeah, it's, it's somewhere where I just go to give dawah, you know, I went there like when I first accepted Islam, six months later. Uh, I just saw people talking lies about Islam and mm. I felt the passion to defend it. And then I realized to myself that this is something natural to me. What, so six months after you like, yes. became a Muslim, yeah. you, bear in you mind, became passionate to defend Islam? Yes, bear in mind, I was three, three to three and a half years, I was studying different religions. Oh. It's as if I was being prepared for that place. So when I went there, I was like, okay, this is natural to me. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So you had some knowledge in different religions. Yeah, because I had doubts about Islam before I came to Islam, which would get answered. So I would know how to answer that doubt for myself now. Okay. So when I went there, it just came natural to me. So, so how long have you? So how long have you been going to speak a school? It's gonna be ten years. In a, maybe ten years. Yeah. You been going to speak a school? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know a lot of people say I look twenty-four, so they think I've been going there since I'm fourteen, but that's not the case. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been going for ten years. Yeah, nearly ten years. Every Sunday. Yes. I would say 95% of Sundays I've been there. That is what you call dedication. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a part of my life. Yeah. Consistency is key. Wow. Okay, so but you see last week, yeah? yeah. So for me to have an understanding of Speaker's Corner so I can do this interview with you, last yeah. week I came. Yeah. Last week I met your best friend, uh, Modine, 
in uh, yes. Edgeway Road. Yes. So um, he told me, he was like, bro, I want to go Speaker's Corner. Mm. I was like, you know what, you know what, let me go. Okay. Yeah, it's good, you can. For the first time I went there, and bro, I just I have to be honest, man. Yeah. In my opinion, yeah, it's Speaker's good. Corner is an absolute joke. <laughs> And I do apologize. I do apologize. No, it is though, I don't mean I don't mean no I don't I don't mean no disrespect to people like yeah, you yeah, yeah. or Mohammed Hijab or Modine or yeah. Shamsi or whoever, yeah? No, no, I mean disrespect for Modin, that's fine. Huh? Uh. <laughs> Mo, listen, his opinions are, are his opinions. I don't I like you, Mo, I like you. Yeah. You're a cool guy. He's a cool guy, he's a cool guy. <laughs> yeah. But um I just found it like I was there maybe for like 10, 20 minutes. I just yeah. found it like yeah. pointless, brother. You see, like Speaker's Corner, mm. somewhere like somewhere like that, you have to go there with an open heart and an open mind. Yeah. And I just felt like it was just a bunch of men yeah. with a lot of pride, with a lot of ego, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's just like bouncing your thoughts and your opinions off a wall. Yeah, like yeah. nobody's taking what you're saying in, yeah. nobody's listening, and everyone's just like, okay, you say what you got to say, mm. but I'm gonna say what I got to say, and yeah. it's just back and forth. It's just, yeah, it's it's just pointless. So I, I wouldn't say it's pointless. It's when you come there, you have a lot of crackheads. Yeah, like you do. They, they, I call them crackheads. Some of them have gins inside them, yeah, I, I won't be surprised. So you get people who are just there, they're the regulars. So they're the regulars that just come there and do that. Okay, cool. But that's why if you saw my table was away from, it was, yeah, 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 because, yeah, yeah. because I try to abstain from that. Because they're just there for the sake of it. I just want to talk to genuine people walking past, etc. And we give out Qurans. So it is a place where a lot of doubts are answered around the world. The Speaker's Corner is actually... Do you think so? It's, yes, bro. It's watched around the world, bro. Speaker's Corner videos. If you go on YouTube and write Speaker's Corner videos, bro, you'll see. Then they translate to Arabic, um, yeah. different, different languages. Um, why? Because it genuinely benefits, but it has turned into a bit of a circus. So that's why, for example, we as Dawah brothers, we have a policy. There's certain people we read this, we don't talk to them. Really? Can't, yeah, we avoid them, bro, because it's, it's a waste of time. What? Spare, go speak to a tree. The tree has more benefit to life than <laughs> this guy who you speak to him. It's really the same thing over and over again. So it has become a kind yeah. of a circus. There's fights. It's pathetic. Yeah, but bro. we just try to stay away from it. It has a lot of benefit. One thing about Speaker's Corner, when I went yeah. there for the first time last week, yeah. the amount of cameras yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that's that's a new phenomenon, brother. So Allah, I feel like I, yeah. I thought there was like a bunch of journalists from BBC, yeah, 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 ITV, yeah, yeah, Channel yeah. Four. The amount of cameras and yeah, the amount of people yeah. recording, I was, yeah. I was, I was shocked. Yeah, yeah it is. It's, it's a new phenomenon. It's like do you for think, the past. Do you think people come there yeah. to actually give that one and listen, or do you think people go there to see some drama, to see I think uh, Ali Dawa and, for example, yeah, Modin or yeah. Ali Dawa yeah. and Shamsi yeah. or whoever? Like, yeah. by the way, I know there's other people there, but these are yeah. the people that I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know yeah. the others. Yeah. My apologies, but like, yeah. do you think people go there to just see drama, to see people mm. Mm. arguing and... Yeah, or do you it, think people yeah, actually go there yeah. to actually learn things? I think it's become like that as well. There's entertainment and there's learning as well. So yeah, yeah there's a mix of both. But there is a lot of stuff to learn. There is, but you just need to pick your videos. If you're looking for drama videos of like, oh, a fight happened, this, that, then you're going to search for that. But yeah. speakers kind of like Mansoor, Hashim, they've been going there for about 20, 30 years. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, 25 years, bro. They've, been, they've got videos wow. like in the, the 80s, uh, 70s. So they, 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 there's a great what? benefit, but it depends what you want to watch, bro. How yeah. long has Speaker's Corner been around? Almost 100, 150 years. It's a historical place. Yeah. It's, 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 it's 150 years? Yes, it's a place of freedom of speech. You know, so you have like, oh, you know. Wow. Yeah, but, yeah. I thought it was like maybe like no, no, 20, no. 30 years. No, no, no. It's, it's, it's a historical place, bro. That's why a lot of people come and visit. Mashallah. Speaker's Corner. Yeah. Will you be going there? For the next 10, 20, 30 years, do you think, or do you think like, I need a break? Do you think? I, I, I took that break. Uh, oh, you did? Finally, after nine, 10 years, I took that break about uh, three, four weeks ago. I, I, I disappeared for a month. Oh, I've really? never done it in my life. Yeah, I, I disappeared for a month. Did you enjoy it? Yes, I did actually. And I Seriously? Back to my senses. Yeah, it, it was good. <laughs> yeah, it was good. I, I went away, I went on holiday as well. Not for a month, for a week, but for three weeks, I abstained going from there. And we are focusing on short movies. so. We are now doing a mix. I'm doing a mixture. So I don't think for the next 10 years, but I go, I don't, I don't know. Um, Cause I have a few plans that I'm planning on executing. So um, I think I would go here and there, but I don't know if it'll be continuous for the next five, 10 years. I don't know. I don't know. It would be like the um, Undertaker. Yeah. WWE. I, I, didn't, I didn't really watch that. You don't watch that? No, no, no. You know, like Undertaker. I was, I was doing some other mad stuff that uh, of those ages. Yeah. <laughs> stuff we love. While he was watching uh, WWE, yeah. Uh, yeah, I was, but, I was, but do you know like Undertaker when he comes back from WrestleMania every year? Nah. You don't watch the. Nah, if he jab, he will love it. He speaks hijab. He's, uh, <laughs> so, so like, what was you into? Football, nothing. Nah, not football. Football. Yeah, I was into mad stuff. Just, yeah. just yeah. geldam and clubbing and that. Uh, no other stuff as well. <laughs> Harami, Harami Central, bro. Harami Central. <laughs> <That's> Harami Central. <laughs>
some of them, majority of them don't like it when I say this. Mm. Brother, I dislike men, Muslim men who get married, a second wife, third wife. Are you serious? Yeah. Can I, can I explain why? Are you for real? Can I explain why? Yes. No, no, I, our, our relationship ends here. Yeah. The reason why I dislike Muslim men who get married a second and third time, yeah? yeah. Because in this day and age, yeah. not in the time of the Prophet, yeah. or the time of the Sahaba, when yeah. men, yeah. Men, in, men in Islam went to war for Allah, okay. right? Yeah. And there was widows, right? Okay. There was reasons, from my knowledge. Okay. I may be wrong, this is why we're here. We yeah. to educate me in case I'm wrong. Oh, you educate me, I'm learning. Yeah. Yeah. But in today's day and age, yeah. From what I see, from what I hear, from what I know, yeah. men get married for two reasons, for second wife. Yeah, okay. One, to yeah. prove a point to the first wife. In case of like, you know, let's say they're going through a certain situation with their first wife and, they were, and their first wife says, you're so lucky I married you. You will never ever get married to somebody else. No one would have ever wanted you. Mm. You can never get married. You know what? I date to get married to a second wife and they do it to prove a point. That's, that's a very pathetic reason to do it, but okay. But yeah. that is one of the reasons. Okay. Some, okay. It's, 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 I would say it's a rare reason. I want to say it's a common reason, personally. But I think okay. it happens. I think okay. it happens. Okay. 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 But the second reason, yeah. and the main reason why a lot of men, Muslim men of today, yeah. get married to a second wife yeah. is for their own pleasure and needs. And I think we know what that means. We don't okay. need to go into detail. Yeah. Okay. That, that, is that wrong? That's not. That's not. You, that's go, not go, wrong. Go, go. That's not wrong. But just me to, personally, just, but me personally, just to let you know, it's going to be mad controversial because I'm going to go full out. Yeah, yeah, so the, okay, yeah, so, but, so but, but we're having a genuine discussion. Yeah, yeah? so the reason okay. the reason why I brought this up yeah. was because you're gonna go mad for love, and maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Maybe maybe my mindset is wrong. Yeah. But the reason why I say that is because I feel like if you have a wife, yeah, who's good to you, yeah, who you're happy with, okay, and that loves you and cares for you, yes, is it valid? Yeah. Just because of your own desires and your yeah. own pleasures, yeah. But you have to get married over a second woman. Now, okay. if your first wife accepts, fair enough. Yeah. But if your first wife doesn't accept because she loves you or something, like, do no, you that's, think that's fine? But no, okay, just to let you know, this conversation is going to be more than five minutes. Okay, cool. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. Yeah, okay. Because, because cool. I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, no. The thing is, um, let me ask you a very direct question. But don't answer this if it's going to cause fitna in your marriage. No, no, no. I don't even put me, this out. Me, I'm okay. Are you telling me? And I'm going to take my glasses off. <laughs> are you what? telling me that you are not polygamous? Like you, let me, one second. If your wife was absolutely okay with it, she had no problem at all, period. And you had the finances. You will not get another wife. Can you look at me please while I'm talking to you? Okay. Yeah. If my wife was okay totally with it. Totally okay, bro, bro, look. It's not even in the picture of her being upset. Totally fine. Wallahi. Totally fine. One second. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. Yeah, no, no, no. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. I thought about this. I thought about this. Long no, no, think, no, think again. Think again. Yeah, yeah. Your wife is totally okay with it. Yeah. Totally fine. You have the means. You have the financial means. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I really want you to emphasize on this because subconsciously, the brothers are like, oh, but it's no, the wife. No, no, no. Your wife is saying, look, I'm okay with it. I will go and find her for you. This is like, fine. You need to really get that out of your head, okay? Because yeah. brothers having the sub. Even though they say, yeah, that the subconscious mind is like, no, no. Your, your wife is fine with it. I would, but for one reason, one reason only. One second. Would you? But for one reason, one reason only. Would you? Yes. Okay. I'm put my glasses back on. Because um, there's some bones in my head. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, but, 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 for, but, one, but for one reason only, yeah? Yeah, and that's, for, and that's for my own pleasure and desire. One second, one second. Who said that is wrong? Now let's put it into context. When we say your pleasure only, this is where Islam comes to regulate. So one thing that you need to bear in mind is this. We get this question asked a lot. Non-Muslim men practice polygamy. Every man on this planet Earth practices polygamy. Allah came to regulate it. He said, if you're going to do it, you do it the right way. You can't have side chicks, mistresses, girlfriends, which you use in abuse. Allah said, you want to do it? It has to be done in the right way. Number one, you speak to the dad. Because if it's about pleasure, yeah, and if you know you want to be with her just for one thing, argument's sake, yeah, which is, I wouldn't necessarily say it is wrong per se, but you see how Islam regulates it. Number one, if you know you have to speak to a dad, and her mahar is 10 grand and you need to make a wedding and announce the wedding that pleasure what happens that pleasure okay that's i don't want to go there you wouldn't want to go there because you have to speak to the dad but some men but some men no 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 but what i'm saying is this would go through that for that pleasure no 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 no, no. to make it halal okay if somebody can speak to the dad and know he's going to suffer the consequences if things go right and if the woman is asking for five ten grand mahar i don't know any man unless the girl that she's going for is dropped from heaven yeah to pay 10 grand mahar yeah Okay, when a man thinks with his desires, 
He needs to go to his first wife. Once he comes back to his senses, he will not pay that 10 grand. The point I'm trying to make is this, like you just said, every man is polygamous by our nature. That's our nature. And number one, it doesn't mean that it has to be widows. It doesn't have to. I encourage, personally, I encourage brothers to marry an older woman. 35 who have two, two kids, etc. Because they're shunned and looked down at. But the point I'm trying to say is Ali, that... Ali, Ali, what did you just say? Okay, well, I'll repeat again. I personally encourage brothers who are going to do polygamy to marry sisters that are older. I encourage them. But what? Because instead of going and marrying a young girl who has the potential of getting married again, and that's going to cause your wife to be upset because she might be prettier and younger. If you marry an older sister who's got kids, who's finding it hard to get married, at least you're doing something for her. Because I know a lot of sisters who've got kids who are falling that into crazy. zinner. I that's not crazy. That crazy. Bro, why is that crazy? I don't know, Ali, bro. You prefer, what, which one would you prefer? Like, for example, a man marries a younger girl who has a potential of getting bro, married. Bro, I just, I just find the whole thing... Of, no, 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 you didn't say whole thing. You just said to me that you accept that and you, you would do it if there was conditions in place. Mm. Which shows that you are pro Yeah, but not for the right reasons, though. No, 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 no. That's what? not right reason. No, no, no. One second, one if second. If I'm getting married to another woman, brother, if I'm, that's your, I'm, that's your nature. Do you understand? You're saying my nature. But is that right, though? No, no. One second. I'm saying, bro. If you have, for example, a a a um, liking to a woman, Islam yeah. says you can't just go there and just get and bounce. Yeah, of course. You have to get married. So what's yeah, saying but, is, yeah, but, yeah, but Islam. Islam yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Islam always says, yeah. yeah. Also says, yeah. if you get married to a second, third, fourth wife, yeah. you have to do them all justly. No, no. What does justice mean? What does justice mean? Uh, people say, well, f again, well, I'm what not. What does that mean? This is why you're here, because. Yeah, but justice doesn't mean. Just so, like, so like if one's got a house, I don't want to have no. No, 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 one second. They need an accommodation, a house. Does okay. it mean you have to buy her a house? No, it no, means, no, no. no, no, no. But I'm, I'm saying, if you rent a house for, for one wife, you got to rent a house yes, for Yes, of course. Right? Yeah, okay, of course, cool. Of course, definitely. And, and also. Or, 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 for example, if she has her own house, you don't need to. You go and live in that house. Mm -hmm. You don't need to. But the rights have to be given. Like the reason we're taking about polygamy, any woman that's a feminist has to be pro polygamous. Any woman that genuinely cares about another sister, another woman, they have to be polygamous. You know why? Because what that shows is that if you have a good wife, a good husband, mm -hmm. you would want to share. Like I'm talking about feminists. You you have to logically it follows. I'm a feminist. I want the I want the best for my co uh, woman. Okay. You got a good husband. Yeah. Share him. No. Well, hold on a second. Yeah. I, thought you, I thought you said you wanted. The point is this, bro. Islam came to regulate it so men don't abuse that desire that they inna innately have okay. because what do men do? They go and sleep around and use and abuse this woman and break them mentally. They have no security, they don't know how to love anymore, they are broken women. And these women go and find these men who some of them are genuine and they break these men. Why? Because they have been used and abused. Islam says if you want to do it, do it in a way where it honors the second wife and it protects her rights rather than going and saying, oh, let's think of her, get what I want, see you later. You are not allowed to abuse another woman like that. Okay. So do you see Islam has come to regulate it? Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question now. So you are not against it. You are pro polygamous. Uh, and I don't want your wife to get upset about this. No, this she won't get upset. No, 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 no. That's good. No, that's good. No, because upset. I have this open discussion with my wife. Yeah. yeah. The point is, what your wife every, say? every man is pro polygamous. What do you think my wife says? You can't get No, no my, my, my wife or any woman, no one would ever come and say, oh, I'll be over the moon. No woman's going to be. So what she say? Yeah. But obviously she, she obviously finds out she believes it's permissible in Islam But obviously she wouldn't want me to get married yeah, that's what I mean. And that's different actually What she wants and how I'm created is two separate things Women for example by nature Didn't the Prophet peace be upon him said They're like a bent rib If you try to straighten it you break it yeah. Okay so what that means is Our wives sometimes do things and say things That slice us know, But the thing is can we change their nature mm -hmm. Can we change a woman's nature When sometimes they have their moments Where they say things that they don't mean And they hurt us Yeah they're like that. We accept okay. them how they are. Okay, me personally, I have, a, I have a little sister. Yes. And inshallah, one day Allah will bless me with a daughter. Inshallah. And, in, and inshallah, if I have a daughter or my sister, I will never accept her husband to marry yeah. over her. No, without wait, without a valid reason. No, what? But who's, I will never who's, accept. Who, who decides a valid reason? Me personally, I would never accept it. Okay, I will never why? accept them marrying over. Okay, why? My, my why? daughter or my sister. Why? 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 Look, like, ask me the same question. Okay, so you have two daughters. No, ask me the same question. I have two daughters. Yeah, would yeah. you, would you, would yes. you, would you Ali Dawa? Yes. Yeah. Would you Ali Dawa? Yes. If your two daughters one day, inshallah, get married, would yes. you let their husbands yeah. marry over them and get a second wife? If I said no, I'll be the biggest hypocrite. Because how can I say that, for example, every man is pro, pro polygamous except me, and then I'd be like, what did the Prophet peace be upon him said? If Fatima stole, I will cut her hand. What's the punishment for the theft? Cut in the hand. Does that mean that, for example, the Prophet's going to say, Oh, I have one rule for you guys and another rule for my daughter? Nah. You're not looking at your daughters. Nah. You don't think. Do you not brother, think? Brother, let me tell you something. 
if a good man who's practicing marries my daughter and my daughter comes home and says my husband is wanting to get married again i'll ask a simple question okay or he comes and says by the way i'm going to miss i would want to get married again i'll say to my daughter look for example is he a good man does he hit you no he's a good man he provides he looks after me he prays he's a god conscious man etc you know what i say to her stay in that marriage you know why because the biggest problem and fitna we have today is what you know what let me tell you something and this is this is a reality bro i'm, I'm t i don't like yeah, to sugarcoat strong, stuff bro. Bro, strong. no 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 it's not about strong bro we have to be just because if i am a certain way i can't say i love it for myself but for, la, la, la. we have to be consistent let me tell you something do you know how many marriages i know that are broken because a brother went and got another wife yeah okay and let me tell you something the sister that left him is not happy she's not in a better place and I say specifically, by the way, if your brother is good, he's praying, he's practicing, he looks after you, he's a good man. Totality, the guy is good. Do not leave this brother. I'm telling you, do not leave this brother. If the man doesn't pray salah, he's haram, etc. And he wants to get a second wife, that's a different story. That's a whole different story. I'm talking about good brothers who fear Allah, who practice, who provide, who look after their wife, who's good to his wife, who helps his wife. I'm talking about this kind of men. Would you, if you get married yes. tomorrow to, to another woman, would you ever love your second or third wife the way you love your first wife? Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe not, Ali? Man? How can, how can, how can, how can, how can I say speaks cause, uh, uncertainty about something? How can you love two I'm women done. the same? How can you love two women the same? How could a Me. woman love her? Or was it? Go to your wife and say, if you have three kids, which one do you love the most? She'll say, all of them oh, the same. Ali, man, you can't compare kids and wife, man. This is the issue that we have. Yeah? What? We get brothers Ali. affected by feminism. One second. No, no, no. no. <laughs> The issue here is this, bro. We are conditioned. This, this is a new phenomenon. Nowhere in history of civilization has it been that one man and one woman. This is a new phenomenon. This is a new phenomenon. This has not been heard of. And that's the reason True. why you True. have men, Muslim men or non-Muslim men, who are going and doing it the wrong way. Islam has regulated it to do it the right way. Yeah, when you, you do it the when right you, way. When you ban it, no, no, no. The right way is done like we've mentioned it to you. Yeah, so for the whatever right way, the reason yeah. it might. It might be okay. So, what would you recommend? Yeah. Yeah. So, what would you recommend yeah. now? If yes. they are brothers, yes. let's say like to Muslim couples, yeah? Yes. Where the man wants to get married to a second wife. Yes. For whatever good or bad reason, whatever. Yes. But his sister is saying no. What would you, Ali Dawa, recommend to that? This is, this is what I would say. Okay, this is a topic that needs in depth, you know, okay, so analysis. Like, you know, and, 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 and I am working on projects to do this because this is a big problem because it's an attack on the family unit. I say to the sisters very clearly. Firstly, the brothers. If you're doing this as a fun, this thing, you need to fear Allah. If this is just a game to you, like, oh, I'm just going to go. Sorry, it doesn't work like that, okay? You, you will cause more damage the, the, to yourself. But if you are sisters married to a brother, I repeat again, who prays, who fears Allah, who's good to you, genuinely, this guy is a good guy. If he goes and gets married again, do not end your relationship. I promise you, look, I promise you, it will cause more harm if the guy is good. If you're dealing with a guy who doesn't pray, who doesn't fear Allah, who doesn't give your rights, yeah? That man getting a second wife, etc. On top of that, he's violated, okay? What I'm just saying is this, every man is polygamous and some men, for example, um, I wouldn't say every man is just absolutely happy with their wives. What I would say is every man is polygamous, they deal with it in different ways. Okay, some choose to, I don't know, maybe work, they, they do something, they, they're so busy, they don't even have time for that. But every man is polygamous. So I would say do not end your marriages because don't think you're running away from the problem. You would find another man who does polygamy in a, in a wrong way. He'll do it behind your back. He'll have a girlfriend. He'll have a side trip. Stuff He'll go sleep Allah. around. And Stuff I would say, Allah. well, I'd rather Stuff have the pleasure Allah. of Allah and do it the right way than have the displeasure of Allah by saying, oh, instead of my wife finding out, yeah. let me go and la 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 la. So, in a nutshell, it's, it's a complex topic. But what I'm just saying, my point was this every man is polygamous. I will, we'll if you guys want me and Ali Dawa <laughs> to have a serious, longer conversation about this, yeah. make sure you like, comment, subscribe. That's it, please. Ali, Ali, can you tell them to like? Don't, guys, don't forget to unsubscribe to this channel, please. Um, and dislike. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see me again on this channel, leave a comment on the section below, inshallah, and like. Yeah, but Ali, if they, if they do unsubscribe, then what's... Then how are they going to know? Subscribe. Okay, just subscribe for that then. Press the bell button as well. Oh, okay, yes. YouTuber knows, YouTuber knows. Thing. And yes. then like, comment, subscribe and that. Yes, please. Uh, like, uh, comment, uh, unsub I mean, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see more of these videos, subscribe to my... I mean, sorry, his channel. I just get confused sometimes, guys. <laughs> Till next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I put a lot of time, effort, and a lot of money into these videos. And all I ask from every single one of you just to please like, comment, subscribe. I'm not asking for anything else. I'm not asking for your money. I'm not asking for you guys to spend hours. It takes you literally 10 seconds. Like, 
comment and subscribe guys please it means so much to me thank you so much